Well, good morning, everyone. We have bales to move, so I decided I'll take one of these girls out for, for a spin. Currently, the Farmall 560 is down there getting some repairs. I'll tell you more about that when the parts show up. So let's uh, get these out. All right, final try. Alright, spill a little bit of gas, but no big issue really. That's something we can wipe up. Thankfully, I carry rags on here. Now, before we start it, these tractors, you gotta manually oil the rocker arms. Do these little caps here on top of the valve cover. Sometimes the oil can be a little bit cold. You can, sometimes you gotta shake it up a little bit. There we go. Alright, cap one. Now first few cranks you want to bring up a little bit of gas. You want to make sure you hold the crank right. Oh, you want 
we go. As, you might, as I told you, the Farmall 560 is in the shop for some repairs, some stuff that needs to be fixed. Most of all, new exhaust manifold because the old one, the threads are stripped out, so the pipe and muffler were just shaking around. But a package showed up today from good old Steiner Tractor Parts. And in here are the parts we need to fix all the stuff on that tractor. New oil pressure gauge, new uh, wa uh, oil pan gasket, so... There's plenty of stuff to do, so let's get to it. So, I'm a pretty much a pro at opening Steiner packages because we have gotten a lot of our parts through them. And I am very satisfied with, with the parts that we get from them. And I'm also, their, quali their packing quality is amazing. There we go. So I gotta pull all the staples out first. Go. Okay. All right, let's see what they sent us. <laughs> oh, I already know what they sent us, but let's see everything. Okay. So in here, something's heavy in here. So, first package. This right here is the brand new exhaust manifold for the tractor. Right here. So that's good. It's gonna fix an issue we've had on it for like the last maybe two or three years. Okay, so that's the biggest part. This is the new pipe that the muffler is gonna go on. This right here is a new set of gaskets for the F20 radiator. As you might remember, it has a, has a leak. Haven't gotten it fixed. Here are the new, these are actual gaskets. So those right there, we'll stop this side for now because we are not ready to install those. These are the manifold gaskets for the 560 for the exhaust since we're going to be taking that apart. Got to replace that because if we didn't, we'd be, we'd be dumb. Okay. This is an oil pan gasket for a 560. We're replacing it because the old one, I'm pretty sure it's the old one, has been leaking for quite some time and it's just something we want to get fixed. And last but not least, our brand new 
oil pressure gauge for the tractor. So why did we get a new one of these? Well, because the old one, several years, oil has been getting into the gauge. It's been, it's not been like a huge issue, but it's something we've been wanting to fix. So we decided while we were at it, we'd just get one. So that ladies and gentlemen is all we need to get that tractor fixed. So. Alrighty, now let's get to it. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the old oil pressure gauge. Alrighty, update. So oil and gauge is in, it works. Got the exhaust manifold off, and I'm gonna take this intake manifold off, and it's gonna go on to the new manifold right here, because the intake manifold's still good. It's the exhaust manifold that's junk. Alright, let's get to it. So update on the 560, um, that manifold was junk. The um, intake manifold that I said I was going to salvage. So we had to order a new intake manifold. So we're going to be waiting for that in the meantime. 